let's talk about steady state. Steady state, once again, steady state, highly related to uh, half-lives, yeah, because half-lives actually represent time to reach a steady state concentration. Let's do this question. So we have IV administration, uh, bioavailability one, pharmacokinetics, uh, volume of distribution, 35 liters, clearance, 48 milliliters per minute, uh, half-life, eight hours, if uh, IV infusion is started at rate uh, K0, yeah, we have a rate of infusion 0 0.48 uh, milligrams per minute. How long it will it take to reach 93.75 of the final steady state concentration? So actually this corresponds percent of uh, steady state. And we know that that will take four half lives. So we have half-life eight hours, and uh, actually this will take four multiplied on eight hours, 32. You don't need to all, all these uh, things. And uh, actually it's very, very common when you have excessive amount of information in the questions in order to confuse you. And, and the question can be solved very, very uh, quickly, very easily, and uh, if you missed uh, from where we get uh, this four hours, once again, this table, you should keep in mind this table. Uh, okay, next one. Continuous intravenous infusion. You see continuous intravenous infusion, the rate of infusion, K0, started at 8 a.m. Volume of distribution. 77 liters, clearance uh, 640 milliliters per minute, half life for uh, 1.4 hour. Uh, what is the expected steady state concentration? Did you remember we have bottle and uh, this bottle is our body. We have elimination uh, called clearance and we have rate in this rate in it is either rate of infusion or maintenance dose or tau so steady state concentration it is a situation when rate in equal to rate out and we have steady state concentration steady state concentration can be calculated as a k0 over clearance or maintenance dose tau on multiplied on clearance we have k0 and we have actually clearance so let's calculate steady state concentration this will correspond to one be careful with unit units 92 milligrams per minute uh, divided on 640 milliliters per minute crossing minutes and uh, getting zero 0 0.003 uh, milligrams per milliliter and we have concentration you see we have concentration in milligrams per liter so we need to convert into liters and uh, we need you know that one liter it is at 1000 milliliters so we need to multiply 0 0.003 uh, milligrams milliliter multiplying 1000 and we will have three milligrams per liter and uh, this is the right this is the right answer okay uh, what about that time 9 a.m at 1 p.m 1 p.m uh, on the same day, blood sample is taken, drug concentration uh, 3 milligrams per liter. Uh, what is the probable steady state concentration after 16 or more hours of infusion? So we have, once again, time frame. And we have started infusion at 9 a.m. At 1 p.m., 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 o'clock. At uh, 1 p.m., we got plasma concentration 3 milligrams 
per liter and the half-life is two hours. So we got two half-lives here. Yeah, so we need to find a steady state concentration here, right? And uh, the question is asking uh, 16 hours of infusion. We know that half-life is two hours. And uh, if we will divide 16 over two, uh, then we will uh, have eight hours. Uh, we'll have eight half-lives. And we know that we are reaching 93.7% uh, of steady state concentration after four half-lives and 96 after five half-lives and 100% of steady state concentration after seven half-lives. And the question is asking about steady state concentration after 16 hours of infusion. So actually the question is asking which steady state will be achieved by this protocol of infusion. And we don't know exactly, right? Because we can't calculate steady state. It will be K0 or clearance. We do not have clearance. And actually, we do not have even the rate of infusion in uh, milligrams, let's say, per minute. Uh, instead of that, we know plasma concentration after two um, half-lives, right? So after first half-life and after second half-life. And we know that after two half-lives, we are reaching 75% of steady state concentration. So actually, uh, three milligrams per liter uh, corresponds to 75% of steady state concentration. And... Uh, X uh, corresponds to 100% of steady state concentration. And uh, we are just doing the proportion and uh, multiplying 3 on uh, 75 and divide into 100. And uh, actually, this will correspond to the 4 milligrams per liter. And this will be a steady state um, concentration. There are no straight formulas, you know, for calculation of that. And uh, all these uh, half-lives, it is just a manipulations with the time and the manipulation with this timeline. So uh, it is very useful tool actually uh, drawing this timeline because they actually very helpful for calculations. Uh, let's do this question. A drug with a half-life 10 hours administered but continuous IV infusion. Which of the following best approximate the time for the drug to reach a steady state? Time to reach steady state concentration, that is a four or five half-lives. Next one. 20 minutes. Rate of infusion K0, 0 0.1 milligram per minute. Half-life 2.7 hours. Uh, volume of distribution to 30 liters and the clearance is 60 liters per hour and uh, our question is asking steady state concentration so steady state concentration k0 or clearance do we have clearance yes do we have k0 yes so can calculate 0 0.1 milligram per minute divided on 60 liters per hour. How you can calculate steady state concentration? Steady state concentration will be K0 over clearance or maintenance dose tau and clearance. So we have rate of infusion 0 0.1 milligram per minute and we have Clearance, right. But units, guys, uh, have a look. We have minutes and we have hours. And uh, 60 liters per hour uh, will correspond uh, to one liter per minute. So we should divide because we have one hour that is a 60 minutes. In order to find clearance in milliliters or liters per minute, we should divide it on 60. And then we will have 60 liters per hour divided on 60 minutes, right? And uh, this will correspond to one liter per minute. And uh, if we will use 0 0.1 milligram per minute over one liter, 
per minute. Then we can cross minutes, and uh, and actually this will correspond to 0 0.1 milligram per liter.